What's up, YouTube? Perry with Premier Guitar here in Asheville, North Carolina at the Orange Peel. Hanging out with Adam D. Hi. My man, what's good, bud? How does, uh, how's chilling, it going? Chilling, man. Good how are you? you? Good, really yeah. good. Cool. I know you don't have a whole lot of time, man. We want to get through everybody, but got to ask about these. Sure, man. Yeah, this, my, my main guitar right here. This is my uh, comparison uh, TAT, which stands for through and through. Uh, it's a neck through design. Neck through. Um, yeah, and it's got uh, one of the fish influences in there. Um, yeah, that thing screams. It's like the loudest thing I've ever played. You know, just yeah, get straight up like this neck here is one, awesome. One piece of wood just going right through that sucker. One so, knob, one pickup. Yeah, so, and some locking tuners. You know, it's a, a simple beast. You know, like try to take things out of the uh, equation because I like to sweat a lot on stage. So good you know, idea. less is more, man. If there's a, a bunch of bells and whistles in there, there's a good chance I'm probably gonna sweat them out and break them, and then I'll be guitarless. No fun, no fun. Nah. So what, uh, what about the Parkers? Are you just really comfortable with these or is this? Uh, well, I prefer these over the Parkers. You do? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Do you feel like it's a neck thing? Um, you know, it's mostly a fret issue. I love the frets on this thing. Um, with the old, the old Parkers, uh, we're having a lot of fret issues with that. But uh, no, these are just well-built machines, man. They're, that does what you need it to do. That's yeah, the man. one trick it's nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool, so you have this and a backup, I'm guessing it's... Yeah, the backup, backup is identical, backup right? Backup is the original version of this with, uh, with the single coil in the neck. Um, so... Are you playing we, that at all ever, even for leads or well, anything? No, it's pretty it's much just, just my backup, yeah. Copy yeah. That, I, I don't, that. I don't move my pickup ever during gotcha. the show. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll use different pickup sounds when we record records and stuff like that, but keep it simple on stage. Yep. You know? yeah. Kiss. I get it. I totally get it. And now you guys are, you switched to Laney's, right? You're playing the Iomis? Yes, we are. Cool. What's up with that? Do you feel like it's just a... Well, we, uh, we were a little unhappy with the way the Ironhearts were voiced uh, and the gain structure in the Ironhearts. So uh, we asked about the Iomis. We tried them out and we just think they sound... Screamed. Yeah, they they're just sound way classier and just gotcha. nice, nice overdrive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little, what do you think, what do you hear totally difference? Is it like a better lower end or is it a zippier It's just top? Better, better saturation. It's more controlled. Uh, it just, it just sounds... Just sounds meaner and thicker, and just you know, just the control was the issue for me. Yeah, just totally. Like the other amp sounded a bit spongy for my taste at times. So yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And then you're pushing those through Laney cabs as well. Laney cabs, yeah. We're using the uh, the Iomi uh, cabs too. Cool. And, uh, yeah. And then for you have, a, like, I would take you guys up to show you the pedal board, but it's literally like a switcher and a delay pedal, right? Yeah, that's, that's it. all it is, man. We got um, the Lionheart combo is for our clean tone. Uh, so whenever we go into clean tone, we just we literally just have an AB box, go to that amp, you know, go back to the dirty tone, go back to the IOMI, um, and then yeah, we've got it running an OD808 and a noise suppressor on the, the dirty channel, and then um, a delay pedal and a compressor pedal on the clean channel. Just and you just use that on the cleans, obviously. Yeah, for absolutely. Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. What, uh, yeah. what compressor is it? Uh, it's a Maxon compressor. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, that's a really, really simple setup, man. I yeah, think man. We'll be excited to hear you know, about this. The more things you add to a, an equation, the more things can go wrong. Totally. Man. Less yeah. moving parts, the better. I agree. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I agree. Well, hey, man. Thanks for taking the time. We're gonna of get course. the rest of the guys in the band, and I'll uh, see you in a second. Guys, now we're on the other side of the stage with Joel, who's gonna walk us through his setup, which is pretty equally similar. You recently switched the IOMI as well, right? Yep. Yep. And um, what are your thoughts on that? I just talked to Adam about that, but wh why did you guys switch from the, it was the Lionheart that you were doing before, right? Uh, Lionhearts we're still using for clean. We're using the, I think, Ironheart. Oh, the Ironheart. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Which are great. They're really percussive and tight. I think the IOMI is a little bit more, uh, it's just thicker. It has a, little, a lot of a harmonic more. richness and, you know, the gain is really just thick and, you know, it, it really growls at you when you palm it and stuff. That's exactly what he so was yeah. saying. A little more range to play with. Exactly, yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Well, let's talk uh, number, <clears throat> let's talk guitars. I know you have a, yeah. a signature with you and another couple of guitars, yeah. but which one do we want to talk, talk about first? We'll talk about, the, yeah, I guess we'll talk about the signature first. <clears throat> this is a comparison uh, JSM model, which uh, was a few years in the making. Uh, it's a pretty simple guitar. It's just made in, you know, nice woods. Uh, it's got a maple set neck, mahogany back, maple top. Um, kind of a Gibson style bridge without the tailpiece, sure. uh, string through body, which we did to get a little bit better string tension for the, you know, drop C2. A little more sustain and stuff Exactly, too, right? yeah. So it's, it's pretty, it has a lot of attack. And these are influences as well? Yeah, Fishman Fluence, so, Moderns. Are, are you playing at all on this neck pickup? Like, are, are you playing leads up there? Because, uh, you know, we've recorded with it and stuff. Right. You know, but generally live, I'm always I love on how the, Adam's just like, no, just one. That's, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Generally, for, you know, what we're doing live, we're always on the bridge pickup. Yeah, totally. That's um, anyway, it has, you know, the push pull for the different voicing for clean, for, so for clean tone, I'll switch over to the, Oh, the gotcha. pass, oh, the pull, the, yeah. yeah. It's Almost like, a, like an EMG 89 or something. Kind of, right? yeah, yeah, it's not really a coil tap though. It's more like an active and a passive. 
gotcha. style of voicing. So, so you know, it's this still is nice. humbucker and humbucker. Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Three way switch. Graph tech. So if you buy this from comparison, it comes just like this. It comes like just this. like this. Yeah. Cool. That's exactly how it is. Very, very cool. Um, so now, I know this This is your signature, but you actually mm -hmm. play um, the next one a little yeah, bit more, for the, right? For this last tour, I've been playing this one a lot, which is. Uh, Man, I can't get over that. The, the headstock on this, <laughs> yeah. this guitar is awesome. Pretty metal. It just looks dangerous. I like it. Yeah, and this is kind of a prototype. It's a it's a model that yeah. uh, comparison might be working on in the near future. Very very neo about. stratty kind of. Yeah, vibe. I think the idea behind this was kind of like the Iron Maiden style strat. Yeah. Um, so Ataro at comparison still working on some design things with this, but it's basically it's a Dellinger. Is uh, that what they're gonna call it? It's, it's, the name of the model is a Dellinger, and uh, this is the first one they've done with a pick guard. I um, like it, which is kind of neat, and it's you know set up pretty much the same way with the two Fishmans. Uh, this one has a tone pot. It has oh. a high frequency tilt that changes the <clears throat> changes the uh, the top end response, and then this is the same as far as the active passive voicings. Yeah, it's bolt on neck maple fretboard. And this type of bridge, do you have any trouble palm muting? Or no, no, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's, it, a, huh? it's, a, it's a go tail. I'm not really sure what kind of bridge it is, but it feels good. It sounds chunky. It sounds a lot thicker than you think a stretch and sound. Yeah, you know? right. Well, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pickup configuration can make yeah, a difference. Totally and I love what they do with the headstock. It's unique. Yeah, it's kind of the, the classic uh, comparison Devil's Tale. I think the first time I saw that was yeah. maybe In Flames playing those. And yeah, like, uh, soil work guys played them. Um, yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot, guys, of, yeah. lot of Swedish bands. Peter Wickers yeah. and all Pete, those dudes. Yeah. yeah, totally. Well, very, so, very cool. Uh, yeah, so those are the and two mains. So we got this, the Iomi, mm -hmm. then the Iomi cabs you're running, right? Mm -hmm. With yep. the green backs, maybe? I think they're like some kind of variation on the G12H G12, something. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I guess they're uh, unique to that cabinet. Gotcha. I guess they're kind of voiced for Tony and a little more low in response. Pro yeah, probably yeah. a little beefier down there, mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. then as far as pedals, are you like Adam, just real Same simple? as Adam, yeah. I mean, really? I have uh, so the Maxon delays. Uh, just, you know, I have one just in front next to the AB box, so I can uh -huh. go to the cleaner, the dirty. Um, do you have that like pretty much set how you use it always? Pretty just much. Just turn yeah. it on when you need yep. it. Yeah. Click it on, click it off, and uh, Max on 808. And didn't I hear somewhere that you and Max on are kind of working together with to yes, do yes. like we have a, a, a signature 808 coming out pretty soon. Very cool. Um, it's it's a standard kind of circuit, but it's got a couple of mods. It has a, a like a low end tilt kind of switch thing where you can adjust the low end. Uh, oh, that's pretty um, cool. And then it also has an extra gain stage. So if you're like using uh -huh. an older, like an old Plexi or an old 800, you know, that has no gain, gain at all. You can you really can kind of juice it. Turn it up. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. pretty cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, well, hey man, appreciate you taking the time. You got it, brother. Yeah, all right, we're going to talk to Mike and learn about the bass stuff. And, uh, Sounds good. See you guys in a second. All right, now we're going to talk some bass gear with Mike. What's going on, man? Hey. Nice I, to meet. I, I find it very appropriate that I'm talking bass and you're wearing a Hot Water Music shirt and, uh, you know, they probably have my favorite bass tones and Jason Sounds Black, he's amazing. He's a, he is so good. One right? of my favorites. If you guys and are not familiar, check out Exister, right? That one is that's the, the newer new one. one. Oh, Bass lines that I, like, I've never heard, so uh, fluid. I dork out over that record so, so, so much. But anyway, let's talk about what you got going on, because you got a couple cool guitars right. over well, here. This is my new signature from Ibanez, the MDB4. Uh, the diff main difference between this one and the last one that I did, it's based off a Destroyer model is I added a J pickup to it. So it has the P pickups and then the one J and it just gives an all, all around more roar, more yeah. aggression. It's really, it's the angriest bass I've ever played. It's it looks angry. That's really, a big old, you could kill somebody with that it's thing. It's right, oh, of course. <laughs> with just one swoop yeah. of the tone. Um, do you feel like, uh, are you switching back and forth while you're playing or do you kind of find no, a sweet I, spot? No, I'm right in the middle. Yeah. Right in the middle is exactly where I need to be. So you get be. all the precision, but all the, Yep. Ass too, yeah. This one also comes with uh, the back is like a tone pot in the back. So if you want to adjust it just a little bit, rather than have too many knobs in the front, I bump into that stuff all oh, the time. I'm off, throwing yeah. my bass all around. So I like to put things in the back. So uh, usually there's a hole right here for uh, the retail version. You can go driver. in and there's a thumb screw and you can adjust the tone a little bit if you need That's to. Pretty cool. But I don't need to. Yeah, and with both pickups, you get a lot of tonal variety out of that bad boy, huh? Absolutely, yeah. yes. And then next you got a uh, prototype? Uh, I mean, they're both the same bases, really. They're actually the same thing. But yeah, this I, one was just the first one. Just identical, and that yep. was the first one. Gotcha, cool. Same and base. And then as far as, uh, you know, uh, amp setups, what are you running? Uh, EBS all the way. All I the love way. EBS, Swedish company. Sweet Swedish guys. Yeah. So good. Um, I was an Ampeg guy for quite a while, and. I started using EBS stuff and it's actually, it sounded like somebody took a comforter off the front of my huh. cab and now I can hear the full force of exactly what I'm playing. So clean, uh, attacky, it's got oomph like you've never heard before 
and I'm just stoked on their products. Feel yeah. it on stage. Are you running like a pretty low stage volume, or are you very low because yeah. we use the in ears, in -ears. so, so uh, we don't exactly need to. On, Besides, yeah. the guitar guys get screwed up if there's too much bass. They really need to hear what they're doing, so everything's adjusted in the ears. So low stage volume. Very simple. Keep yeah. everything from wiggling your nose and making you <laughs> have to itch it all the time. You're not screaming at each other on stage like ah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I use the classic four, four tens. Ten, no, sorry, A tens. <laughs> Classic A10s, two sides. Uh, I am using a Fafner two head uh, on the road. If I if I'm going to like Australia or something, I bring uh, a little Reed Mar with me. It's a tiny little seven and a half pound head. Um, the thing roars. It's it's got a lot of power to it. So I, I'm able to take that and put it in a backpack and go wherever in the solid world. Solid state head. Yep. Cool, cool. Um, for pedals, I'm using the Billy Sheehan pedal. It's a rad blender pedal. You can have clean on one side and dirty on the other, and you can affect each signal differently, uh, separately, huh? which is pretty rad. That is really rad. It's very unique in that way. Billy Sheehan knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would imagine he, he's got it pretty dialed in. Yeah. Are, you, um, are you affecting those differently? Uh, not at the moment, but gotcha. uh, we have had plans on throwing maybe a chorus in the uh, clean, clean side, yeah. maybe giving it a little bit more. Yeah, you can do a lot with that. That's pretty cool. And then really dial it in. Wow. It's a pretty simple setup, but it uh, gets the job done for sure. Simple is simple's the best way to go about it, because if you have a problem and you don't have simple, man, it's going to take you a couple of hours yeah. to figure out where that problem arises. Yeah. And that's no fun, especially right before showtime. Well, hey, man, we really appreciate you guys taking the time um, to talk with us, uh, not only about gear, but about water music. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you guys, uh, they got a new record out. Come check it out. Come see it on tour and hear these awesome tunes for yourself. See you later. Thanks. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.